Thank you, Coach, for joining us on uh, the NFF TV. Thank you very much. What, what's your summary? What's your summary after the first leg of the uh, games against Ghana? What, what do you make of uh, the team's performance? Well, I think uh, such a game and uh, the rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria, Nigeria and Ghana is a massive one, you know. Uh, those of us that have been privileged to have played, you know, this kind of game uh, really knew how huge it is and how important it is. And uh, uh, when you have this kind of game, which is two-legged game, the important thing is the capacity of managing the game to your own advantage and then uh, being in a position to achieve the objective that is being set at which is qualifying to, to the World Cup. I think that is the key thing. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, people want to talk about how beautiful the game is, how exciting the game in question is. But I think also we, technical uh, team, which is the coaches, the players, and, uh, you know, we always try to, to, to focus our minds towards to the game in terms of what we want to do, uh, what the opponent wants to do, uh, what we don't need to do, and what we know we can do. Well, of course, the Ghanaians are coming to Abuja with a mindset to cause an upset and to qualify at the expense of Nigeria. How optimistic are you that uh, we'll get the result we need to seal the tickets for Qatar? Well, Ayo, we all have one objective. We want to qualify. That is fact. Uh, but the whole thing remains also, you know, you have to trade with cautions. Uh, the Ghanaian team, they are not pushover. Uh, basically, people are looking at the Ghanaian team, what they did in the last AFCON in Cameroon, uh, the way they went out at the group stage. But each game is totally different. Each football is totally different. And uh, what matters now is that uh, we have gone to Ghana to play the first leg. And uh, we have been able, you know, uh, to, to manage the game and achieve our desire in this type of game that is two-legged game. Uh, uh, if you cannot win, make sure you don't lose, and which we did perfectly. And now we are playing in Nigeria. Uh, we have to go back also to, you know, to check ourselves. We have to review ourselves. We have to look at our weakness. We have to look at our strength. We have to look at the opponent's strength. We have to look at their weakness. And then we walk towards to that direction. Uh, for we all, both the players, the coaches, uh, to be on the same you know, direction, to be on the same page, and for us to be able to achieve the objective, which is qualifying to Qatar. How can the team get more efficient? you know, when it comes to the philosophy and the style of play, especially coming from the wings, how, how can the team, you know, get more efficient? You know, football, uh, football has involved a lot. Uh, and uh, if you look at the way the game is going, uh, sometimes it's not all about wing play. Uh, sometimes it's all about the ability for your players to adapt to every circumstances that the game in question is bringing to them. Uh, the Ghanaian game, of course, people will say ah, Ghana, Nigeria, but we should also, you know, have it in mind that uh, the Ghanaian players, they also play in Europe. So they are aware from tactical point of view, uh, they are aware from technical point of view, from individual point of view, from collective point of view, what they need to do to achieve their objective. Likewise, we as a team, uh, individually, we all are aware what we need to do, but the important thing is having the cohesion in a team, uh, knowing when to defend when you are not in position of the ball, uh, knowing how to attack when you are in position of the ball without losing the structure of the team. I think that is key in modern football, how the team position, how structured are you in terms of when you have the ball, when you don't have the ball. I, I will tell you one thing, in football there, there is two key important moment in football, which is when a team has the ball and when a team does not have the ball, you know. The key thing is when you have the ball, uh, how are you uh, in your offensive part, how are you attacking without losing the structure of your team. And also defensively, when you don't have the ball, how are you defending uh, to be able to cover the space that the opponent might exploit, you know, to their own advantage. But all these things need to be talked. 
and all these things need to be explained, all these things need to be practiced, and at the end of the day, the players in question, you know, begin to understand the game. Every game is different. Uh, what we have seen in Kumasi is different, and what we're going to see maybe in Nigeria is totally different, but the key factor is that you are conscious, you are aware that this game is not going to be easy. Of course, the Ghanaian also, they want to go to the World Cup. Likewise, we. So you must have that respect for them. But we must believe that we have to do our job and win the game. What's your message to Nigerians uh, who are going to be, uh, you know, coming with a hope, you know, that we'll sell the tickets? What's your message to them? They are going to be coming, their large numbers. You know, to the MK Abiola Stadium on Tuesday. Well, first, I have to appreciate the Nigerians. You know, I think uh, they have stood on with this team. You know, they have been with this team even when the team went to the Afcon and came back. You know, uh, they stood with the team, and uh, they still, you know, standing with the team up to today. So, uh, my my thanks to them first of all, and then hopefully, you know, uh, we will be in a position uh, in times of. You know, uh, you know, getting the tickets that will lead us to Qatar. Because uh, Ayo, this is a collective team. Uh, both the public, both the players, both the coaches, we are all in one direction. And what are the directions? We want to go to the Qatar World Cup. We want to win the, uh, the ticket to the World Cup. So I think uh, everybody understood how important it is for us to be in Qatar. But, you know, I really thank them for all their love and their support. And hopefully we'll be in a position to be able to put smile in everyone's face. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you very much.